Kreska and I'll do it. Hi. Who are you? I'm Ryan. That's Chris. Can you say hi to Chris? Hi. We have stuff. Your mommy's right here. Daddy's right there. Mommy's right here. And the dogs and watch them. The dogs.
See if I have any words I don't know. Can you read? Barely. <laughs> Disciplinarian. <laughs> Got that one. Abraham. That's Looks pretty hard easy. Words. Looks pretty easy and it's not very big. That's good. It seems like when I get them.
Good morning, friends. being here. Um, we are having a brief charge conference meeting. We have one item to vote on. If you are a member of the church, I invite you to stay for just a few minutes uh, so we can get that uh, little bit of business done. If you looked in the parking lot, you saw our trustees have been busy and the parking lot has been paved and next Saturday the lines will be put in place. So thank you to the trustees for all their hard work on that. This week, if you're wondering why we have castles in the, uh, in the church, um, we are beginning to get ready for Vacation Bible School, which starts tomorrow. So prayers for the children coming and for the volunteers who will be working. We are also doing um, uh, the feeding program. We still need volunteers on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There is a sign-up sheet online, uh, but please see Amanda. Um, if, if you don't know how to work that technology, that's okay. We, we just need folks to and there's a sign-up, look at that. We went old school and there's a sign-up sheet in the back. Along with the sign-up sheet in the back, if you are interested in coming to the Pirate Game on July 28th, please sign up. It should be a great evening. And we're not counting on the Pirates to win, but <laughs> it'll be fun with fellowship. We are gonna be joined with other churches so we should have a really, a really nice evening. Are there other announcements? God is good all the time. Let us center our hearts and minds for worship.
Friends, as you are able, will you please rise? We come as children of God. The wind blows. The earth quakes. The fire burns. There is nothing but utter stillness. In silence, we will wait for God. Will you please join me as we say the affirmation of faith? We believe that on the first day, God released love and creativity over a void, and that void became mountains and rivers, sunsets and starry nights. We believe God released God's people from the grips of slavery, liberating us day in and day out. We believe God laid down with death and was released from its grip knowing suffering and freeing us from this fragile life. And we believe God invites us day in and day out to release our fears, let go of our assumptions, tear down walls, throw open the doors, and walk closer to love. May it be so. Amen. standing as we sing our first hymn.
may be seated. Now is the time of sharing our joys and our concerns. Please be in prayer for Donna Powers Kuntz. Uh, she is undergoing her surgery this week, so please be praying for her. Connie. I didn't know about that. Okay. Please pray for Ingrid Kelly. She has a lump in her back and she's getting more scans um, and testing. So please be in prayer for Ingrid. What else can we be praying for? Who am I missing? I'm sorry, Sue. Travel mercies for Sandy and Tom as they bring Amelia back for VBS. That's, that's good to hear. Chris said to pray for all the fathers on Father's Day. I put an update on Facebook about Wanda. Um, she was supposed to be put down on Thursday, and my vet did a Hail Mary. So Thursday's a big day of, um, can I say Hail Mary, Paul? Yeah, that's, yeah. I know, if Terry could say, <laughs> um, it did a Hail Mary, and uh, so they are doing some additional testing for free. How about that? And um, we're just going to pray that that it it works out. Right right now, she's living the life of a Make-A-Wish um, child and getting whatever she wants. But it, it's it's all good. Continue prayers for Admiral um, as he undergoes radiation. Um, Paul, Suzanne, we are a big dog church, and um, Admiral is our number one greeter. He's a Bernese Mountain Dog. We've had, had him here since he was a puppy, and uh, it was discovered that Admiral had cancer. And he's only four, four, he's young, three or four, yeah. And so now he's undergoing um, radiation. Please pray for uh, Hannah. She goes on her big adventure to Costa Rica. Uh, for 10 days, and uh, please keep her in prayer. She is going to have a lot of wonderful opportunities. We're so excited for her. Other joys and concerns. Ray. Uh, yeah. Um, we have been praying for James. He has undergone a lot of health issues, and Yesterday he went home to be with God, so please, please keep his family, his friends in prayer. Marianne. Oh, I wasn't told. Okay, Jamie Bracken passed away, so please keep her family in your prayers. Thank you. Other joys and concerns. Let us take it all to God. Let us pray. Oh God, be with us here. As we heard Chris play the song today, as much as a deer longs for the streams of water. We long to know who you are with us. And when trouble and sorrow come, we need you. Help us remember that you are always with us and that your love is steadfast. 
be with those who are needing comfort. Surround them with your grace. Put your song into our hearts that we may praise you this day and always. You created us out of love. Allow that love to sustain us. We pray all these things in the name of your Son who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, and we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's scripture uh, lesson is Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 through 29. Now before faith came, and we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed, therefore the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came, so that we might be reckoned as righteous by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to, to a disciplinarian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Will you pray with me? God, unite us together in your Son. Reveal your word to us this day. Amen. I, uh, I had a wedding yesterday. And there were two flower girls and two, two female ring bearers. And the one little girl right before the wedding started came up to me and she said, no, she was at rehearsal, okay? She goes, I'm not sure what you're doing. And I, couldn't, I got it. And she said, are you the person who does all the stuff? Clearly my reputation precedes me. And I said, I think so. That was enough to bring the other three girls. Now when you have a posse of little girls, surround you, you're in a lot of trouble. How do you know how to do this? Good question. I, I went to school. There's a school for that? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. And they let girls in? Yes, they do. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Why aren't you dressed funny? I had on a black dress and I had my stole on. I said, because I don't like 
those robes. I like what I'm wearing. And the one little girl goes, well, you look good. <laughs> and she said, are you going to need any help? I said, are you volunteering? And this is the littlest one. She goes, well, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> and so it began. You know, we get surprised when people don't fit in the boxes that we put them in. It takes us a minute to say, do you belong here? Because in my mind, I've never seen this before. And I'm not sure how you fit into my image of things. And I'm not sure what to do about it. Some people, when things don't fit into their box, they dismiss it. Some people try and understand. Some people judge it and push it aside. I was looking up today, or not today, I was looking up for today that uh, the labels we put on boys and girls. Now, when I had my kids, my sons wore, had little white beanies with a blue, like, uh, like little pom-pom on it, right? But when I had Reagan, she got a green beanie. She was born on St. Patty's Day. So I was thinking in the nursery, it must have been a free-for-all not being able to tell the boys from the girls. But I deep dived into, into the, the blues and the pinks and how that came to be, only to learn that once upon a time, it was boys who wore pink and girls who wore blue. And it was that way for a really long time. In fact, boys didn't get their hair cut till they were six or seven. If you look at pictures of FDR, he had really long hair when he was about six or seven, and he was in a white dress. Girls wore blue, boys wore pink. And we think of that and we think, well, that's odd. What happened? What happened to change that? But in the 1940s, I don't know what happened in the 1940s, but chaos clearly broke out because girls were switched to pink and boys were switched to blue. And we keep that. If you see a baby girl, teeny baby girl, and she's in blue, you're going to go, that's, that's a cute little boy. We like things in slots. We like things that we understand. And even when it comes to, to children, to babies, you know, there's certain colors that, that we expect them to wear. trying to help the Galatians. And at the beginning of chapter 3, he is not happy. In fact, chapter 3, verse 1, he lets them have it. Calls them foolish. 
tells them they're ridiculous. And it's basically yelling at them to say, you don't have it right. And you need to get it right. Because you see, the Jews at the time were all about the law. And they were focused on circumcision. They were focused on the law. And that's all that they could think of. You see, because when we put things in boxes, we can't take them out of those boxes because then we don't know how to, to do with it. And so we get angry and we kick back and we get mean. And Paul is trying to tell the Galatians, this isn't about law. Faith has nothing to do with law. But we like rules. You see, the Jews at the time had a very narrow way of thinking about faith. They, they wanted to be the ones to say we are following all the rules and because we are following all the rules God loves us and because we're good rule followers it makes us better Paul's like you don't get it y'all are hung up on Abraham but Abraham he wasn't about rules Abraham was about faith and you're missing it. You're missing it. Today is Juneteenth. And some of you may not know what Juneteenth means. But on June 19th, 1865, in Texas, slaves were freed. Now, some people have said on Facebook um, that was in Texas, that was back in the 1800s, that's over with, who cares? It was in Texas, it does, it's not about us, it's over, get over it. You see, if it doesn't fit into our way of thinking, if it doesn't fit into our box, then it has no value. The Galatians were doing the same, same thing in trying to push the Gentiles back. Paul goes on to say, that Christ has redeemed us. And because Christ has redeemed us, there are three things you need to pay attention to that no longer bind us. The first is, has to do with racial and ethnic matters. We are not bound by them anymore. There is no Jew nor Gentile. The second one is there is no slave nor free, and that has to do with economic issues. It doesn't matter what you make or what you don't make. None of it counts in the eyes of God. And the third one has to do with gender. There is no male or female. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you wear pink, blue, purple, or a whole lot of color doesn't matter. Because in Christ we have been redeemed from all those boundaries, all those boxes. Paul says in, in, in that same chapter, verse 12, that law is not faith. So if you say, why does something matter? Or if you're stuck, God bless you, if you are stuck on the rules 
and the way things should be in your mind. Christ came to erase the lines. There is no Jew or Gentile. There is no slave nor free. And there is no man nor woman. Doesn't matter. None of it matters. Because we all belong. I know we're going to go out of here today and things are going to matter. Things are going to matter. Because for some reason, we are people who have created standards, our standards, our way of doing things, and we say, this is how it should be. But when you do that, who are you leaving out? Who are you disconnecting? Who are you losing? In Christ, there is no boxes. In Christ, there is only grace and redemption and love. Amen. Will you please rise as we sing our next hymn?
just a reminder that charge conference is following worship, so please stay with us if you are able. Let us receive God's blessing. May God, who has removed the boundaries in God's Son, Jesus, enter your hearts and minds this day and raise you up. Amen. <laughs>